Hey everybody, here we are back again, still at DEF CON, still running around doing these crazy interviews. We took a chance to slow down a little bit. We're checking out the Hacker Memorial right now. I'm sitting here with Conjurer, who is also the founder and the whole reason this thing started, correct? Well, um, Jeff created it, for sure. And it was a kind of a group request um, after Dan passed. And I've been with DEF CON, this is my 24th year, and I was looking for some other things to do and contribute, and this is an area that I actually have a lot of training in. So I'm, I'm the lead right now, and we're growing. It's our third year, and we just want to make sure people understand this is this is a great thing to do and come and share stories and honor and um, laugh and cry about people that you've known, people who helped you learn things, people who showed you how to be an amazing hacker. And as a community, honoring those who have come before us is a really important way to bring us together and also with new people coming in or newbies I think is I think that's out of place these days as a word they get to have a deeper sense of what DEFCON is about and what this community is about so yeah it's definitely I love the idea I love what you guys have going on here it's really nice that you're giving people that chance for remembrance and a chance to mm -hmm. slow down and kind of keep these people in their memories with them enjoy it or kind of feel like they're around again because this is a big community and the last few years have definitely made none of us strangers to loss yeah so and yeah. i think this is really cool because it makes me think about that old saying that you're never really truly dead until your name's uttered for the last time so well, this is a good way to kind of keep yeah. everybody around and remembered and and we have various things people can do here they can write on this this is an addition to this year um, and it is that element that we don't want to forget and we won't if we keep connecting and sharing and telling crazy stories about what someone did back in the day which they might not actually do anymore you know because back then the laws were different and now it's a little different but it keeps us alive and um, Jeff is looking at and we're looking at how to expand this um, if you have ideas if there are things you think would be great here please come and share those um, we are not set in stone so to speak we have stones you can draw on but we are not set in stone we will be constantly evolving um, one thing that's being looked at is kind of having a presence virtually year-round being a space where if you lose someone in that moment, at that time, you can start connecting with your family, your DEF CON family, about what you're going through, or just, you know, it's not like you have to tell everybody everything, because this is a relatively private group. Mm -hmm. But people won't be asking you questions, they just want to be present and help. And oftentimes, people may not even know if it's someone close to them what their next step needs to be. Well, it's nice that you get the, the community helping the community. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're, we're very thankful for what you're doing here. We Thank love you. it that you were able to take the time to talk with us. You bet. We're here every day until about 6 6 30, and on Sunday, we'll close down about noon so we can get ready for closing. But please come see us. And we out if you go to Info Booth or Hacker Tracker, you'll find us. And there's an email that we have. And if you can send us photographs of your friends or times with them, and we can print here and we will also keep them and, and keep them online. If you get a chance, come 
slow down for a minute, step by, check out the memorial, everyone. Till next time. It's cool and we have water. <laughs>